Friends. Friends. If only love was what it was in the movies. Huh? You mean fake? I mean, everybody wants happy endings. I'm flying out now. You just got here and you're leaving again. Call you when I land. And not soon, but... <laughs> oh, you know what? I have a meeting in like 10 minutes. So, uh, you have to go. So, I mean, partner. Welcome to the big boys. I met someone. Another toy boy, let me guess. A model, a rapper. No, actually, he's an artist. And Deep. I love Deep. It starts with a pat on the back, then a nice pat on the leg, and boom, you're sweating in the bubs. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not thirsty. That's never going to happen. Thank you for the flowers. What flowers? This is a milestone deal for Southern Africa. I can't take this case. Chris and I have history. He specifically requested you. Well, to me, it's already sounding like something it shouldn't be. This is how this is going to work, OK? You are a client. Nothing more, nothing less. Yes, ma'am. You do know that you're playing with fire, right? I am just saying it wouldn't hurt to go the extra mile to impress the partner. Mm -hmm. As a married woman, if you're going to cheat, you're going to cheat with someone who's married. Then it's not cheating. I don't love you. I never do. It's about the lies! Lies all this time! Guys, why all this drama around these men? I thought they were just meant to be like a light distraction. At first, I did think that, you know, it's a story about three best friends who happen to be female. Uh, my book is about um, a group of young women who are trying to navigate, you know, the life in, in, in this new South Africa. I actually admire the producers for that, you know, for putting it together one way or the other, for picking, you know, Cynthia's book. It's an honest story, and I think it's also, it's also set against uh, the background of a very modern and very upmarket and inspiring black society. Today, it's African stories we're telling to the world. We've been looking at your performance lately. You're going to have to put in a lot more hours. Absolutely, so if the case needs it. We're talking about a million rands worth in billable hours for a probationary period, and then after that, an escalation each year. That is... I definitely think that it touches on some key themes or, um, for example, it touches on the impotence of careers. Very much like Cynthia's book, the film is reflective of the Africa that we have today. I think the film does show the modern woman today. It is a mirror image of what women are. Oh, he's not exactly very sure. So wait for... So wait for her to come So maybe, like, get the confirmation on the goal? I wanted... I wanted wine and oysters. and oysters and perfect lighting. OK, what is it? OK, what the hell? It's a global story. Um, and so with that element, I think every nation, anyone that's going to watch it, will ad identify with the different characters that are on board. It's just a beautiful story. <laughs> The world of the story is beautiful. The film is reflective of modern black women in South Africa. It's aspirational. It's those things that we all wish we had. Ladies, I would like to present the piece de resistance. Oh. I know, right? They are just happiness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Straight or budget? Straight. It all works together so beautifully. Um, there's a nice mesh up of different textures. For me, at the end of it, it's a film about friendship. What we see with these women is that they support each other. It's simple, I get there, I make nice with the big boys, sign the paperwork, bag the deal, and then poof. That's the problem, it's the making nice. It starts with a pat on the back, then a nice pat on the leg, and boom, you're sweating in the bubs. <laughs> It was daunting, I'll be honest with you. Um, the two cast members working with them, the experience was quite eye-opening. I like that you've got three strong women and they express their strength differently. Working with um, Mabatu and Kanye was, I don't know, we just sort of clicked. I'm gonna tell Mataba to give the case to someone else. Excellent. Okay, 
And if Chris calls you again, just give him my number and I will sort him out. He's in bad way. Yes, guys. It's not about the, the small little things that we might disagree about. It is that whatever happens, we're there for each other. There, there are so many opportunities to reflect on so many different things. What does make us happy? There's this idea that women are independent now, they've lost their hearts, we're no longer ladies. But we're trying to say, within all of that, maybe women have just become taller, women have just become slightly stronger, but we're still soft inside. We all love a fairy tale. But there comes a time when the magic becomes all too real. It's time to choose. Either start a new chapter or close the book. Fifty-five, tip two. Mom. What drew me to the project was that um, it was the characters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go, team man. All right, shoot team. Pull it in. Working with Tabang has been nothing short of amazing, and I just don't say that, uh, but you know, as a as a young man. I think just his visual appreciation for cinematography is really astounding. He's patient, he's collaborative, and those are signs of a mature director. It's always the people that want to challenge the traditions that make history. How old are you, Leo? What kind of artist are you? What inspires you? So, I'm 34. I'm turning 35 in October. I'm a street artist. I'm inspired by life, uh, everything beautiful, everything ugly, the truth, really. Um, we're sharing ideas, they're listening, they, I listen to their input and they just, they're not reserved about their performances or um, they're just willing to go there and that's very refreshing because you know that you can achieve what you need to achieve in the scene. If we are not there to tell our own stories and give our interpretation of the world, we will, we will always be told who we are. The appeal to coming back to uh, shoot this film was First of all, it's coming back home. I got something for you. Will you marry me? In my career so far, you know, I've had to play very interesting characters, but this is the first time where I get to play somebody that's contemporary in the now moment. When you find a film like this that is uniting the continent through the power of film or even storytelling, you want to jump on that. I wrote this dead off like I did everything else about our past. Come on, Nandi, don't be like that. I wish that I could change the past, but I can't. The least I can do is repay you for the financial mess that I left you in. Most of my scenes have been with Mabatu, and it is always a pleasure when you find another actress or another actor who yes. takes this seriously. First time working with Chris, um, it's early days. I feel a little bit bad for him because he came in on like week four <laughs> and we've been going. So, but what did work nicely about it is that there's a new rhythm which works for the story. Even though I've enjoyed working and doing some work in the States and more on, on the West Coast, here I am in South Africa, you know, broadening the scope. Listen, Chris, this is how this is gonna work, okay? You are a client. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all there is between us, the case, okay? Okay. And no smart remarks either. Both Chris and Tongai are amazing. Um, they, they really come to, they really got into the characters. Thank you. Zip, 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 Zip. Landy, as partner. Cheers. I don't want to say I told you so, but I did. Well, I still have to make it through probation, so. Probation, please. Mandy, this is you we're talking about. Balls of steel, come on. It's been amazing. Like, I've known him about her for, gosh, I would say maybe eight years now, because we first worked together on Mr. Bones 2, where she played my queen, and consequently, she's playing my fiance in this, eventually, you know. So I've known her as a friend, so it was just really, really great to get back with her and just create magic on screen again. You know, happiness is a four-letter word, and we all assume that word is love, right? We're born to love, you know, and um, no matter who you are, that's, that is our existence, that is what keeps us going. I'm ready. Sometimes we think we're ready. We say yes to the challenge. Nandi Hadebe, nine o'clock. Everybody needs to see this. I'll be buying tickets for everyone. Why should you come see happiness? <sighs> come on, it's got me in it. I was 
Definitely take my friends to see this movie because in this movie they're going to see themselves. There is a line in the movie where one of the characters says, what makes us happy anyway? And it's a question that I think we should all ask ourselves. Hopefully this film will reignite that passion and the, fame and the flame that love is real and it still does exist. This film is beautiful. <laughs> Cheers. Everybody wants happy endings. I met someone. To me, it's already sounding like something it shouldn't be. Oh, you know what? I have a meeting in like 10 minutes and uh, you have to go. If only love was what it was in the movies. I'm flying out now. You just got here and you're leaving again. I'll call you when I land. What flowers? It's about the lies! Lies all this time! I don't love you. So I mean, pardon. Welcome to the big boys. Guys, why all this drama around these men? Your friends are crazy. Yeah.